The prevailing theory among most scientists is that the current explanations regarding the universe's origins continue to be the most prominent interpretation of its early evolution. This theory connects the formation of stars and planets, which ultimately gave rise to life, including humans. Despite its peculiar name, the Big Bang Theory offers a thorough understanding of what could have transpired at the universe's inception. In the beginning, the universe was contained within an incredibly minuscule space, much smaller than the head of a pin, and was densely packed with particles. From this highly compressed state, a massive explosion of energy and matter occurred, known as the Big Bang. This cataclysmic event, which took place billions of years ago, triggered the expansive history of the universe. However, as scientific knowledge progresses, inconsistencies have surfaced, challenging the assumptions underlying this theory. When NASA launched the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, the largest and most advanced space observatory ever constructed, experts anticipated that its data would confirm the Big Bang Theory. Yet, within just one year of operation, the telescope astonished scientists with its exceptional capacity to peer back into the universe's ancient past. The groundbreaking abilities of the JWST have uncovered galaxies so old that they challenge our current understanding of the universe's origins. This revelation has sparked a lively debate regarding the potential existence of matter from before the Big Bang. A significant milestone came when cosmologist Rohanatu, analyzing data from the JWST, identified a galaxy that emerged shortly after the Big Bang, marking it as the most distant galaxy observed to date. This discovery sent shockwaves through the scientific community, emphasizing the extraordinary potential of the James Webb Space Telescope. The scope of the JWST's ability to reshape our understanding of the cosmos is just beginning to unfold, bringing new insights into the earliest stages of the universe. This period, which loosely connects to prior cosmic events, holds the key to unraveling the formation of the first stars and galaxies. The JWST's findings have contradicted existing theories, unveiling galaxies with features that defy earlier expectations. The sudden influx of early galaxies has ignited an intense scientific inquiry, compelling researchers to reconcile these new findings with established models. As scientists continue to explore these results, they are confronted with fundamental questions about the universe's very nature and the forces that shaped its evolution. In addition to its impressive scientific contributions, the JWST's strategic location, 1.5 million kilometers away from Earth, shielded from interference and kept it near absolute zero by its sun shield the size of a tennis court, provides a distinct advantage. This positioning enables the telescope to make uninterrupted observations of the universe, free from the distortions of Earth's atmosphere. Equipped with a massive primary mirror and advanced instruments, the JWST was specifically designed to capture details about the early universe that were previously out of reach. This early cosmic era, known as the Great Dawn, began around 200 to 300 million years after the Big Bang, marking the formation of the first stars and galaxies. The processes behind this formation remain a central focus of research, with theories exploring the roles of dark matter, dark energy, and the interactions between gas and dust in star creation. The JWST's ability to observe galaxies from this pivotal period offers cosmologists a rare opportunity to test their existing models of the universe. By studying these ancient galaxies, scientists can validate current theories or uncover gaps in understanding that may lead to groundbreaking revelations. Initially, it was expected that the JWST would only detect a few faint, small galaxies. However, its findings vastly exceeded these expectations. The first images of the distant universe captured by the telescope revealed an astonishing number of galaxies of various sizes, ages, and luminosities, far beyond what was predicted. This unexpected surge of early galaxies has triggered a race among astronomers to rewrite the records of the earliest massive systems. New discoveries are continually emerging, leaving even the most experienced scientists in awe. After the JWST's discoveries, both experts and the public have been eager to examine the advanced features of these early galaxies. Some researchers have speculated that potential errors in how the telescope interprets large-scale observations might account for some of these surprising results. However, the prevailing consensus is that these findings represent a paradigm shift in our understanding of the early universe, 
offering an exciting glimpse into how much more we could learn. The recent revelations about early galaxies have raised profound questions about the nature of the universe, challenging traditional cosmological models. While some researchers are working to incorporate these discoveries into existing frameworks, others suggest that they may signal the emergence of a more intricate and mysterious universe than previously imagined. A crucial question that remains is how the universe we know today emerged from the chaotic conditions of its early stages. The JWST's early discoveries could radically change our understanding of the Big Bang and provide new insights not only into distant galaxies and ancient cosmic structures, but also into the makeup of our own Milky Way galaxy. As Mark McFadden, Senior Scientist for Science and Exploration at the European Space Agency, aptly stated, you build these machines not to confirm theories but to break them. You simply have no clue how it will break. The history of the JWST traces back to 1985, when the Space Telescope Science Institute, STSCI, began laying the foundation for a successor to the Hubble Space Telescope. At that time, G. Weir, then the head of STSCI, was tasked with envisioning what would follow Hubble. Despite initial skepticism, Weir and a small team began planning for what would eventually become the James Webb Space Telescope. Unlike Hubble, which primarily observes visible light, the JWST was designed to observe the universe in the infrared spectrum, enabling it to peer deeper into space. This infrared capability is crucial for studying distant galaxies, whose light has been stretched into the infrared range due to the universe's expansion, making them invisible to telescopes like Hubble. With its large, cold, star-like mirror. The JWST has become an invaluable tool for unlocking the mysteries of the early universe. The need for such a telescope became evident in 1995 when the Hubble Deep Field observation revealed a large number of galaxies in a region of the sky previously thought to be empty. This discovery demonstrated the richness of the early universe and underscored the need for a more powerful telescope capable of probing deeper into space. After years of development and an investment of approximately $1 billion, the JWST was launched on December 25, 2021. By July 2022, it was ready to embark on its critical year of scientific observations. Programs like the Early Release Science, ERS, and the General Observing Program were designed to search for early galaxies. While initial expectations were modest, the results far exceeded these projections. The JWST's observations have already begun to challenge existing models of the early universe, revealing galaxies that defy conventional cosmological assumptions. These groundbreaking discoveries highlight the importance of pushing the boundaries of scientific exploration and demonstrate the extraordinary capabilities of cutting-edge technologies like the James Webb Space Telescope. As researchers continue to analyze the data from the JWST, new insights may emerge that further challenge and expand our understanding of the universe. When the first data from the JWST began to arrive, cosmologists eagerly anticipated the results. Many scientists had spent years preparing their data analysis systems for this moment. Instead of adhering to the traditional peer review process, which can take months, researchers opted to share their findings on preprint servers like AR-14, allowing for immediate public access before undergoing formal peer review. This approach facilitated rapid feedback and discussions through online platforms such as Twitter, where established scientists engaged in real-time conversations about the findings. Rohan Natu referred to this novel process as science by press release, and the ensuing surge of conversation was both intense and unprecedented. However, concerns emerged about the potential drawbacks of this accelerated dissemination of results. Claus Pontypool, a JWST project scientist at STSCI, cautioned that while this rapid sharing of findings fostered quick communication, it also risked overwhelming the scientific process. The swift spread of groundbreaking discoveries, particularly within such a transformative mission, introduced new challenges to traditional scientific workflows. Despite the accelerated pace of data release, the general consensus among most experts remains that the current theory explaining the origins of the universe continues to be foundational for understanding the cosmos's early stages. This theory proposes that stars, planets, and eventually life, including human life, emerged as part of the universe's evolution. Despite the oddity of its name, the Big Bang Theory offers a coherent explanation of the universe's earliest moments. Initially, the universe existed as a singularly dense point, 
far smaller than a pinhead, filled with tightly packed particles. From this compressed state, a massive release of matter and energy, the Big Bang unleashed forces that would shape the universe. This enormous event, occurring billions of years ago, set the course for the universe's unfolding story. As our scientific understanding progresses, however, discrepancies have surfaced that challenge long-held assumptions. When NASA launched the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, the largest and most advanced space observatory ever built, there was an expectation that its data would validate the Big Bang Theory. Yet within just one year, the telescope amazed scientists with its unprecedented ability to peer deeply into the universe's distant past. The JWST's groundbreaking capabilities have uncovered galaxies that challenge current theories, forcing scientists to reconsider our understanding of the universe's formation. This has prompted discussions on the potential existence of pre-Big Bang matter. The breakthrough came when cosmologist Rohan Natu, analyzing JWST data, discovered a galaxy that formed shortly after the Big Bang. This discovery marked the farthest galaxy observed to date and sparked excitement in the scientific community. The vast potential of the JWST to reshape our view of the universe is just beginning to unfold, with significant revelations about the earliest stages of cosmic history. This period, loosely connected to prior cosmic events, is critical to understanding the formation of the first stars and galaxies. The JWST's discoveries have defied expectations, revealing galaxies with characteristics that challenge existing models. The growing influx of early galaxies has prompted a frenzy of scientific inquiry, urging researchers to reconcile these findings with established theories. As scientists delve deeper into these findings, they are confronted with profound questions about the nature of the universe and the forces that shaped its evolution. Beyond its scientific contributions, the JWST's strategic location, 1.5 million kilometers from Earth, shielded from interference and kept it near absolute zero by its sun shield, provides a unique advantage for making uninterrupted observations of the universe. Equipped with a large primary mirror and advanced instruments, the JWST is specifically designed to capture details about the early universe that were previously impossible to detect. This early period, known as the Great Dawn, began 200 to 300 million years after the Big Bang, marking the formation of the first stars and galaxies. The mechanisms behind this process remain a central focus of research, with various theories exploring the roles of dark matter, dark energy, and the interactions between gas and dust in star formation. The JWST's ability to observe galaxies from this pivotal era presents a unique opportunity for cosmologists to test their models of the universe's early stages. The JWST's findings have exceeded expectations, unveiling a staggering number of galaxies of varying ages, sizes, and luminosities. This has sparked a race among astronomers to revise the records for the earliest known massive galaxies. As the discoveries continue, even the most experienced scientists are left in awe. Both experts and the general public have become captivated by the features of these early galaxies. While some researchers have questioned the telescope's interpretation of large-scale observations, the prevailing view is that these findings represent a paradigm shift in our understanding of the early universe. The recent discoveries made by the JWST have posed significant challenges to traditional cosmological models, prompting scientists to consider the possibility of a far more complex universe than previously imagined. The pivotal question remains, how did the universe emerge from the chaotic conditions of its early stages? The JWST's findings could dramatically reshape our understanding of the Big Bang and provide new insights not only into distant galaxies and ancient cosmic structures, but also into the nature of our own Milky Way galaxy. As Mark McFadden, Senior Scientist for Science and Exploration at the European Space Agency, put it, you build these machines not to confirm theories but to break them. The origins of the JWST trace back to 1985 when the Space Telescope Science Institute, STSCI, began planning for a successor to the Hubble Space Telescope. Despite initial skepticism, the small team at STSCI laid the groundwork for the JWST which would eventually surpass Hubble by observing the universe in the infrared spectrum. This capability has proven essential for studying distant galaxies, whose light has shifted into the infrared due to the expansion of the universe. 
The need for a more powerful telescope became clear in 1995 when the Hubble Deep Field observation revealed a vast number of galaxies in a previously thought to be empty region of the sky. This discovery underscored the need for a telescope capable of probing deeper into space. After years of development and a significant financial investment, the JWST was launched on December 25, 2021. By July 2022, it was ready to begin its critical year of scientific exploration. The results from the JWST have already begun to challenge long-standing assumptions, unveiling galaxies that defy conventional cosmological models. These groundbreaking discoveries emphasize the importance of pushing the boundaries of scientific exploration and the extraordinary capabilities of technologies like the James Webb Space Telescope. As researchers continue analyzing the data from the JWST, new insights may emerge expanding our understanding of the universe. When the first data arrived, cosmologists eagerly awaited the results, having spent years preparing their systems for this moment.